Hi, this is David Brennigan, Director of Sales Engineering here at Jitterbit. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of the opportunity to sales quote using AX and Salesforce. The first step is to synchronize the customers between those two systems. So we're going to kick off that business process first. The second step after those customers are synchronized or even in parallel why those customers are synchronized is to then synchronize the products. So we're going to kick that off as well and you can see that when synchronizing the products there's multiple steps here. There's steps to actually get the products from AX, updating the price book information in Salesforce, uh, updating product IDs, and inserting price book entries and so on. There's a lot of different steps. The next step after that happens is we're going to go and create a sales quote from an opportunity that we create in, in Salesforce. So we're going to first go into Salesforce. We're going to refresh the accounts and make sure that our accounts from AX have synchronized and they have you can see we're just going to pick one of these accounts black curve airport for instance we can take a look at the data that's in this account here and see that we passed over just the simple billing information the next step is to then create an opportunity on this account and you can see the AX account number there so we're going to call this AX opportunity number nine. We had a close date of today, and we're going to mark it prospecting stage and save this. After this is saved, the next step is to create or actually is to add products to this opportunity. So we're going to click add product. You can see that our products are have been added to the price book correctly in, in standard price book because um, we can see these prices now and the products and I'm just gonna for instance click on uh, packaging and we're gonna pick up a few products for packaging some materials that the airport needs we'll select those products and we'll give them a quantity that we want to order and we'll add those to our opportunity. Once they're added to the opportunity, the last step, and you can see our opportunity is worth 527.72 uh, at this point, the last step is to market closed one. What the closed one step does is kick off our workflow in Jitterbit. So if we go to the administration console and look at the operation log, we can see that the steps for creating this, the sales order, or the sales quote rather, have completed. And we can see that sales quote number QA100099 was created. And this is actually reflected in the opportunity record under order number. So if we hit refresh, we should see that Jitterbit has now populated the order number field with the order number. And we can verify that that order number, or that sales quote rather, was created in AX by going to the AX UI, hitting refresh. Here the quote is. We'll double click on it and we'll view the three products that we added and also the quantity that was added. All that was completed with several different workflows within Jitterbit that took about four hours to complete. And that completes the demo. Thanks for, thanks for watching.